Moving now to molecular formula. Remember I told you a definition of a molecular formula is a multiple of the empirical formula. So we're going to start out by actually determining the empirical formula, but then we're going to have to go after a multiple that I can then distribute through that empirical formula. And to do that, I will take the molecular mass divided by the empirical mass. And the empirical mass is just the molar mass of the empirical formula that you calculate. The molecular mass is always given to you. You'll use regular rounding rules at this point in time. So I calculate the empirical formula, I get its mass, and then I'm going to take the molecular mass, which I give you, divide by that, and it's going to give me a whole number, then I will just distribute that back through the actual equation. Example. We go to, a, again, we see a seam of crime, we find a sample is made up of 30.4% 30 nitrogen and 69.6% .6 oxygen. It has a molecular mass of 92. So step one is first we have to go through the empirical formula. So again, I'm assuming 100% equals 100 grams. So I change my nitrogen and oxygen both to grams. I then will need to know it's not a gram to gram ratio, it's a mole to mole, so I have to get from mass to mole. So again, I use molar mass, so look up nitrogen. Nitrogen weighs in at 14.01 grams per every one mole. I put moles over grams for one reason only, so my grams cancel out. And I get my moles of nitrogen. And I do the exact same thing for oxygen. Oxygen weighs in at 16.00. So my next step with my empirical formula is I divide through by my lowest answer, which is 2.17. So I divide both of them through by that. And my answers are both within a point plus or minus 0 0.05, so they're actually at whole numbers. So I realize that I have one nitrogen and two oxygen. So my empirical formula is NO2. Well, now I have to figure out the multiple. So I have my molecular mass, my 92, I'm going to divide it by and my empirical mass. To get that, I just go to my empirical formula, NO2, and I'm going to add up one nitrogen and two hydrogen, or two um, oxygens, excuse me, and weighs in at 46.02. So I'm going to take my 92 and divide it by my 46.02, or 0.01, excuse me, and I'm going to get the multiple of two. I use my regular rounding rules here. So now I'm going to go back to my NO2 and distribute 2 through it, and it's going to raise it up to N2O4, which is the molecular formula. Dinitrogen tetroxide. Another example, we have a new sample, 38.71% carbon, 9.68% hydrogen, and 51.61% oxygen. First of all, 100% equals 100 grams. I changed them all the grams. I'm just going to roll right into my mole, get them to moles right away. So I, I use my 12.01 um, grams per mole for a carbon. Grams cancel out. And if a mole is a carbon, I do the same thing for my hydrogen. And I do the same thing for my oxygen. Step three, I'm going to divide through my lowest answer, which is 3.22. So my, I have one carbon, I have three hydrogens, and I have one oxygen. So my empirical formula is CH3O. CH3O. Now my molecular mass is 93. Now to find my multiple, which I'm going to distribute back through my empirical formula, I have to take my molecular mass divided by my empirical mass. To get my empirical mass, I just add up one carbon, three hydrogens, and one oxygen, weighing it at 31.04 grams. So 93 divided by 31, I can see that right away is a multiple of 3. So I'm going to take that 3 and distribute it back through my CH3O, and it's going to raise it up to C3H9O3. That's my molecular formula.